Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to prove f of z is an analytic function. So, this is u plus iv, which is equal to the entire function of log of x square plus y square plus i tan inverse y by x. Now, equating real part on both the sides, u is half log x square plus y square and v is tan inverse y by x. Now, let us find ux. It is a partial derivative with respect to x. So, half is written as it is log derivatives 1 by x square plus y square and derivative of x square is 2x and y square will not come because it is treated as a constant. After cancelling this, we get ux as x by x square plus y square. In the same way, let us find uy. Half is written as it is. This is 1 by x square plus y square and by chain rule, derivative of x square, x is constant, so it is 0 and y square is 2y. So, we can cancel this. Now, u y is y by x square plus y square. Now, coming to the v, let us find v x. Tan inverse x derivative is 1 by 1 plus y by x whole square Again by chain rule, derivative of y by x, y is constant and 1 by x derivative is minus 1 by x square. So, y is written as it is and 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. Now, we have to take LCM and simplify this further. 1 by, when we take LCM, it is going to be x square plus y square by x square and this is minus y by x square this x square will be carried to the numerator, then it gets cancelled. So, the final term remaining is vx is minus y by x square plus y square. In the same way, when we find vy tan plus derivatives 1 by 1 plus y by x whole square, now x is constant. So, y derivative is 1 and The constant 1 by x stays as it is. Now, again, we take LCM 1 by x square plus y square by x square will come that can be taken to the numerator into 1 by x. So, we can cancel this. So, v y becomes x by x square plus y square. So, let us see the value of ux which is x by x square plus y square and vy is x by x square plus y square and again let us see uy which is y by x square plus y square and vx is minus y by x square plus y square. So, we find it same term with opposite sign and hence finally we can say ux equal to vy and so ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx. uy equal to minus vx. So, we can say CR equations satisfied and we also we notice ux, uy, vx and vy are continuous. They are continuous in their domain. And hence, we can say f of z is an analytic function.